The cheese, the bacon, and the eggs. Period, y'all. Smashing this real quick. Be back later. Bye. The headache comes when you try to make them do right or you stress yourself about why they doing wrong. Just let him fucking go because he gone now. Hey guys, literally my hair, I know it's a mess. I didn't do it last night. I was supposed to do it. We're gonna do it someday in this vlog though. I promise that because we need to get it done. But literally just got back from my mom's surgery. Y'all out. This is my first time coming to introduce the vlog. So hi. Um <laughs> um guys, welcome to Tessie's world. It's been a long time, but I'm trying to come back, so that's what we're working on. Um, I'm not even looking at the lens because I'm just whatever. But yes, if you're new, hi and welcome. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your post notifications. And if you're old, hey boo. Thanks for coming back because I know it's been a long time. But yeah, I literally just um, got back from my mom's surgery. Y'all, that surgery was five minutes. I've been up all night. I have not been to sleep since yesterday. So Wednesday at um Wednesday at like one o'clock yeah so I woke up yesterday um around like 11 o'clock yeah I want to say like 11 I woke up and um I went that's when y'all see me you know get ready and all that I didn't even get to do everything else I wanted to do yesterday because after I took that shower y'all I ate a little bit and then I did some reading and some like just some other little work and stuff but I didn't pick back up the cameras, so sorry about that. But yeah, went to my mom's um, surgery today. She had knee surgery. She had, I guess the way I could say it is kind of like moved her kneecap and it pinched the nerve. And so she had to go get her surgery today to do that type of reconstruction to move the kneecap over. 
this lady it's her first surgery she's so cute first surgery ever in life like real surgery and so she was so nervous y'all like she had them giving her drugs be on top of drugs on top of drugs so that she could just like quiet her nerves and her anxiety or lessen her nerves or ease her nerves and her anxiety right so she's there i'm like mommy you gonna be okay like i don't know why because normally i do kind of freak out but i was very optimistic i was like oh she you good ma you good like i just didn't feel like it was gonna be that severe that crazy and sure enough it was a five minute surgery like have you ever heard of it so now she is back home i'm about to go get her some food but um i wanted to come introduce the vlog and say hey y'all hey i'm trying to come back i know i owe you guys a video about where the beep i have been um but we're gonna get into that i'm just trying to do what i can do now to get myself back out there y'all because i really do miss y'all i really do miss vlogging i miss editing i miss everything and we need to get our community going like we need to get our people together and going so we're gonna work on that um i think there was one other thing i might as well say while i'm here right now i don't know what's in this vlog so we're gonna take what we get keeping it a buck i'm spending the week with my mom because of her surgery so whatever we do while that's happening is what we're gonna do um so let's talk about red flags y'all and like how triggering they are when you stumble upon them again right after you've done your healing oh wow look at babe bro me this ice cream i'm about to body it thank you yeah i don't know if they had toppings in it. look at this ice cream getting to it i know y'all can't see too much because of all the glare hold on oh my god everybody just be buying a black jesus christ All right, y'all, I'll see y'all when we get back because I'm about to eat my ice cream. Tell me how to touch the signal. It was about five minutes ago. When I seen the hottest chick that a young and never seen before. I say, yo, tell the girls I want to meet up. On second time, that ain't the way to go. I gotta give a game proper. Spit it so she get it. There she is, I gotta stop her. Or should I talk about a smile? Or what about a smile? I'm out of time. All right, y'all. So we taking little man to a little vet. Look at him. We gonna get his eyes checked out. So come on. We're hoping for a good prognosis. We and Pet Smart, y'all. The first one's in. I love it coming to an empty store. Look at all the babies to adopt, y'all. Hey. Okay. This is the stuff we brought, y'all. I'm sure y'all ain't found it.
all right hey y'all i'm trying to use the light there we go now y'all can see me all right so we finally on our way home finally i don't know if y'all can see back there but i'm in the car we stopped at you know what that orange and that red is don't act like you don't know you know exactly what that orange and red mean exactly so just about to grab something to eat because we're hungry we didn't eat all day or we did not eat all day and it's literally past midnight so when i get my food because i ain't order nothing but a little grit bowl and some sausage or something like that when i get my food i will let y'all see it but look my second passenger he's so sweet y'all he's so cute i can't wait to write properly introduce y'all but it's been listen we gonna talk about that let me get this food because i'm starving and i need to eat like i need to eat all right y'all got our waffle home i'm hungry I'm starving no i'm just joking but this is babe i'm sure his food oh it's hot and that's my grip for y'all y'all i'm sorry about the beeping but can y'all see me okay i'm at the gas station now to get some air in this tire as you just seen i just smashed that um that um i'm sorry y'all i just smashed that waffle house i got a grit bowl y'all seen it oh my god it was really good the toast was perfectly toasted and buttered like thank you so much to the chef that just bust that down on a flat grill or the, what is it? Is it flat grill? It's not a griddle because they don't have the waves. So it's a flat grill, right? Anyways, busted down. The grits were perfect. I always get egg whites because I don't eat yolk. Which I need to go back to because that's where all the protein and the healthiness is. The omega-3s and all that is in the yolk. It's not in the egg whites. Um, But yeah. Hopefully we should be home by like three o'clock so i will check back in y'all see all this stuff in the car oh then he putting the air in i don't know if y'all can hear it over the um the thing yo and this um what you call it got aunt annie's hold on let me show you yeah this that, this gas station got aunt annie's dog <laughs> Uh, and it's like and it's closed i can it's got cinnamon bun too like i ain't had any in forever and the name of the gas station is called no it's still the same y'all tell me you ate good without telling me you ate good i did not see this on my sweater and so i just brushed against it and i was like what the fuck y'all how did i spill a whole a whole bunch of grits on my shirt I told y'all I was bussing. I told y'all I was bussing. All right, so about to get these little snacks. For some reason, it's 103 degrees, but I want a French vanilla cappuccino. I want what I want, and that's it. So I'm going to get that and some chips from this gas station. I was also about to ask Babe to get me some sunflower seeds, too, but I'm also like, like, I'm getting enough stuff. Right, yeah, I got my gas station French vanilla cappuccino. Let's see what parking bean coffee is given. All right, y'all. So let me taste real quick. Wow, it's good. Wow, perfect. This is exactly what I was looking for, y'all. I promise, I would dead ass get a a cap um, what is it? A cappuccino machine in my house. I dead ass would get it. Wow. It's hitting. Y'all ever get it from like um the hospital? It be hitting from there too. It's always like little places like that. Sometimes you get it, it's too sweet, too watery, but this is perfect. Do I need it? Hell no. But is it good? Hell yeah. I gotta give a game proper. So she gets it. She is, I gotta stop her. Facing around, did it? <laughs> the 
just makes it run. Oh, no. <gasps> Daddy? Sorry. I was waiting for that to happen. And that light's around me, friend. Okay, maybe I should start rinsing the oil. The, the, it's supposed to be five minutes. Damn, was it five minutes? To let it sit and lather, right? Well, let's just say that was a win so far. I can actually do a lather if I need to do another one. Yeah, you know, underbelly. So he's not infested, he just got like a few. He got a few, and they're not adult enough to have to laid keep eggs. Baby. So they probably just was laid by yeah. one. Some crap. Gotta get that head. I'm nervous about that one. Well, you don't submerge that, so how you do that? I guess we gotta look back. Alright, I guess that's enough. You don't need the whole bag. Mm hmm. Oh, I see it moving. It's just stuck on it, and I really don't want to just pull it out. Yeah, I know. How about, um, I know you don't want to OD douse it, but it's moving, so I'm that's sorry. great. No, you're fine. I'm in your way. I'm sorry. Well, it doesn't matter. We're taking you today. When emergency come, we're going to be there at 550. And I don't think it's that long. I think they're going to see him. I don't think it requires surgery. None of that. I don't think so. I think it's an antibiotic, man, man, and you'll be good. And it can't be that, what you call it, because he wouldn't even let you touch it. Man. We see how he act when he ain't feeling something. <sighs> All right, y'all. Hey, y'all. I'm finally back. Like... Finally, it has literally been probably a week since I picked up my camera for this vlog. I started this vlog late August, but I've been running, running, running. So I have a few more parts I want to put in and I'm finally going to get to recording them now so I can put in and get this vlog, put them in and get this vlog out for y'all. I don't know when this vlog is going to be out, but it should be out sometime this week. All right. First of all, don't do me because I don't want to have to do y'all. And really, I don't want to be done. Okay, I'm well aware that it's given. Whew, yes, it is. It's given that girl. It's it's given. It's given all of it. Yes, in every in every way, it's given it all. Um, y'all, I really need to redo my hair, but your girl is a mother of two now, and so well, that's just an excuse. Listen, I just been running, and I ain't get a chance to redo my hair. But don't do me, cause I'm gonna redo my hair next vlog. I'm just gonna take off these twists and um redo them for a little touch up and then i have another style i want to do and then another style i want to do at this point we're in that era of stalling hairstyles until we get to that birthday hairstyle because y'all know my birthday is coming up oh my god i feel like every year i'm super ready for my birthday until i get right into right up on my birthday and then i'm like oh shit my birthday is really coming next month I'll be mad height during February, March, April, May, June, July, August. But once September come, I start getting nervous as fuck. Like, wait, my birthday is really about to come up. 
so anyways yeah i'm gonna just do a few styles before my birthday come up um so that's what y'all gonna see me work with over the next like what six weeks or something like that anyway also happy september guys happy september um the message for this month is girl get up period that's the message that's the message that is the tagline that's the hashtag that's everything girl get up no matter what this year has given you you still can get up to turn your year around no matter how miserable as it has been no matter how dysfunctional it's been it doesn't matter you still have a chance every day to get up and turn that issue around right so girl get up i'm wishing prosperity peace love happiness hard work okay let's get rid of the laziness the procrastination let's just dead all that if you dead it now you don't have to worry about trying to get it out of you by time 2024 is like right there you know how we wait we be like okay i want to change all this stuff mm -hmm. i'm gonna wait till the week before the new year's how are you gonna change all that in one week it's not gonna happen so start now right um i'm also wishing healing guys heal yourself man we about to get into a whole conversation that shows me that healing really is, it's top tier. It's the greatest thing that you can ever do for your soul, for your mental, and just for your life. Um, so healing, I'm wishing bags upon bags upon bags for everybody, prosperity. I'm wishing um, happiness, fun. Like y'all, we about to walk into the best season of the year. Of course it's fall. That's the best season because other than April, other than spring, what other season like gives you that feel of death and rebirth? It's only two seasons. Like we die off right now in the fall. The leaves are so beautiful. It's messy, but so what? They're beautiful. I love all the colors. I love how everything just turns into super festive. Like we're walking into that part of the year that is just all holidays. Like we have, um, I don't know if y'all consider Halloween a holiday, but I mean, come on, it is a holiday, okay? So we have Halloween, we have Thanksgiving, then we have Christmas, and we have New Year's. Like, it's that part that, like, spend all your money, go broke. Yeah, it's that part of the year. So, guys, like, I love it, I love it, I love it. All right, so after you have um, fall and everything dies, then we go right back after winter because everything is dead in winter. So we don't even worry about that. But the next time that you're going to see life spring upon us is going to be in spring. So anyways, get ready for y'all fall. Get ready for y'all looks because I'm trying to come with some looks for y'all this fall to um, put some outfit together, do a few hauls or whatever. But just get ready for it, y'all. Get ready for the change that comes with the season. All right. So yeah, wishing everybody a great, great, great September, guys. You can do anything you put your mind to. You just have to work hard. You have to plan and you have to be dedicated. Wishing and sending everybody ambition. I'm sending you guys inspiration, motivation, and literally just sending you guys no effing excuses, period. We ain't got no more excuses for life. If you ain't getting it, if you ain't got it, it's because you don't want it. How hard are you willing to work? Right, right. I also wanted to send you guys determination. I'm not sure if I said that. But the same way that we're so determined and making sure that we can cop every Chanel bag that we want, that we can travel to where we want, be determined with that type of energy as well when it comes to changing your life, right? All right. Anyway, just wishing y'all happy, 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 happy September and um, do what you got to do for you. So let's get into this conversation because the last time that we spoke I wanted to have a conversation with y'all about um, red flags, but I didn't get to. Y'all, <sighs> let me take some water, no, for real, because this, I, I was triggered, okay? I was triggered, I was triggered, I was triggered. If you don't know what red flags are, let me just give you a really brief uh, definition. We're not even going to go into it. Red flags literally are things that appear, things that you can recognize that you know can probably scream danger, but yet you try to act like you don't really realize that they're screaming danger. It's literally like a red flag is setting your ass on fire, but you're like, it, it doesn't matter because I'm a call the fire department. Like, no, <laughs> just don't set the fire. Just don't set the fire. That's, that's literally all you have to do. Just don't set the fire. So anyway, for me, this situation had to do with friendships. We have talked about my friendships, my past friendships, how I had to walk away from them, how they were very one-sided, how I realized that I was in friendships that were doing a lot of taking, 
less giving, less reciprocation. Like it was just, it was toxic for me. But I take accountability in that, right? Because if I didn't, if I wasn't so concerned sometimes with always trying to be such a great friend, then I probably wouldn't leave the space for people to take advantage of me in the way that they do or take advantage, sorry, of me in the way that they do. So I take accountability for that because can't nobody treat you no way <laughs> unless you allow them to treat you that way, period. All right. So I took a step back from friendships. I took a step back from interacting, meeting with people and all that because I'm like, uh -uh, I got to get me together. I cannot, I take friendships so serious. Like I'm a Scorpio. To me, friendships are like gold. Relationships are amazing, right? But to me, you need friends to get through life. Like, sometimes your friends, I know people are going to be like that, but sometimes your friends can give you things and hear you out and pay attention to you in ways that sometimes your significant other, I wouldn't say can't, I wouldn't say does it, doesn't, but I would say sometimes doesn't have the space to. I don't know, like, placing too much in a romantic relationship can break its back. Like, it could be the last straw that breaks the camel back. So for me, I love the balance of having platonic friendships that I can go kick it with 24-7 or when I want to. And I love romantic relationships where that's my boo, you stay where you at. And they're just two separate avenues for me, right? Right. So took a step back from friendship, friendships. I'm sorry, y'all. Took a step back from all of that. It was just like, I'm going to work on me. Like, I'm going to be a better friend to myself. <laughs> I'm going to, like, treat myself the way that I wish that my friends would treat me. Right? 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 Okay. Because we're healing, right? Right. Okay. Now, <clears throat> I've been going outside a lot more lately, y'all. And y'all know that my energy is magnetic. No matter where I go, people love to interact with me. They love to talk to me. And that's awesome because I love to talk to people too when y'all not getting on my nerves. But anyway, we're going to talk about the positive in this, okay? So I'm like, all right, all right. So I met um this girl at Target. Y'all know we love Target, mm -hmm, period. So I met this girl at Target and she was cool. Like we were bouncing off each other, da -da -da -da, whatever, whatever. And I was like, all right. So me and myself, mm -hmm, yeah, that's what we said. We was like, well, maybe we should exchange numbers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's what I said, y'all, and that's what I did. Cause I'm trying to, <laughs> I'm trying to create friendships down here. Like, come on, like I, all my friends live in New York, and it's amazing. But that's a travel, and so there's nothing better than having a local around that you can hang with, right? So I was like, she seems cool. Like, our energy was all right. She was all right. Whatever, whatever. So I gave her my number. We talked. Okay, whatever. So we talked the first time. She was all, hey, it was so nice to meet you. Thanks for talking. Ba, 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 whatever. I was like, all right, cool. I told her already, listen, this is my foundation because now that's how I'm walking into places. Since I'm better now, I walk in already telling you what I'm with, what I'm not with, and everything else because I feel like I'm so grown now that I don't have time for you to play in my water. I'm not doing that, right? So I already told her, listen, I'm coming out of these friendships, you know what I mean? I'm just getting my foundation back together, but yet I do want to interact with people. So I'm cool with talking to you sometime, not often, and damn sure not all the time, right? So I'm like, listen, you can text me, but I'm probably not going to text you back immediately. So if you're looking for that type of energy, baby, it ain't me, period. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm not giving you that. I'm too damn grown to sit by my phone 24-7 to wait to, to, wait to uh, talk to people. I'm not doing that. We were doing that in high school. I even give you to about 23. But at this point right now where we are in life, baby, that's not happening. She said, all right, cool. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm like that too. Sometimes I respond in my head, which is I do that a lot. I respond in my head and like I forget to respond to you directly. Got it. Love that, right? Also was telling her that I'm also coming out of the fix, like the fix savior type of complex. I know I'm not the only one that deals with that. Where you see somebody and you're like, I could really help you. And so you put on your superwoman cape and you run to go help them when it ain't your goddamn business and you should have minded your business. Exactly. Whatever. So we, we come out of that too. So anyway, I'm just, just laying down the foundation. Just letting her know that I'm open to having conversations. I'm not saying we'll be friends or best friends. At best, we could be acquaintances and maybe associates. Who knows? But what I'm saying is I'm open to having the interaction. Bam. That's what I'm saying. When she texted me the first day, I was like, okay, cool, hit her back, whatever, whatever. Um, then there was no conversation. I was cool with that because, like I just said, I don't want to talk every day anyway. So she hit me back and was like, oh, you know, ba-ba-ba, whatever, whatever, we conversed again. 
y'all i started to get hot <laughs> i started to get hot like i don't know like like the red flags were there and i started to get like really triggered and i and i started to respond very traumatically like i started crying i was getting upset like it was it was literally like no like it was just like that it was like no we just got out of this we just healed ourselves from being this type of friend we just healed ourselves from dealing with this type of toxic relationships there is no way in hell that i'm walking back through this door and so i just started to like really get like what the fuck is this i started to like blame myself i started to self-sabotage like it was just not good for me and i realized what happened was i was triggered by the way that she was housing her conversation here's what happened i don't have a problem with talking to you what i do have a problem with is you not being able to reciprocate basic 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 conversation things and to me what i mean by that is if somebody asks you how you doing you don't think that your second question should be i'm well how are you 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 don't think like <sighs> I'm tripping. Oh, I'm tripping, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Hello? 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 Yeah, they didn't? No, they have um, the zigzag. It's like cries. So I don't know if you want that. Mm. All right, y'all, I'm back. Um, I hate when you're trying to find something at the grocery store and they don't have it no more. Like, don't you know I was waiting on this? Like, I was planning a whole meal around this. And you gonna be out? Mm, okay. Anyways, um, I kind of forgot where I was at, but I kind of remember where I was at the same time. Okay, but yeah. So don't you think in a basic conversation, the next thing to ask is, how you doing? I kind of, I feel like that comes natural to me. If someone asks me, how you doing? Like automatically my brain says, I'm well, I'm great. I'm awesome. I'm doing amazing. Whatever my response is to how I'm doing. And then immediately after it's, how are you? Like I have never, ever in my life just said, I'm good. Like that seems so flat, so dead. And so... For me, it feels like, how do you not know that? <sighs> but, but in the grand scheme of things, I'm, I don't know. I'm just learning so much more that people, I guess, really don't, don't, you know what I mean? Like they don't really get it. And so I kind of gave her like a little chance. I was like, okay, well maybe she didn't notice. So then I asked something else and I was like, okay, wow. No, no, like no reciprocation with that either. And then she kind of like dumped her little sad story on me. And that's when I was like, oh, hell nah. This is looking too close, too similar, too familiar to the shit that I just walked away from. And so I'm not dealing with it. That trick, though, that red flag, y'all, had my ass in a choke hole. Like when I tell y'all, I'm not even going to hold you. I was so upset. <laughs> I was so angry. I was so angry. I don't. So I've had some time to reflect and, and like try to figure out why. Well, I know that the anger response came because of the traumatic, um, like the traumatic response. I get that. That was the first thing I attached to was, okay, it's, it's traumatic. I'm angry. I'm upset. Um, but in that same moment, I kind of like talked to babe and I was like, wow, am I tripping? You know what I'm saying? Am I doing me? The testy thing where I just make it too intense. I sprinkle too much salt on it. Or, like, is this legitimate? And, of course, he can't tell me what is 100% legitimate to my feels. He can only help me analyze from, you know, his perspective, which is, I always love that. Thank you. Because he's an air sign. I'm a water sign. And if y'all know anything about us water babies, our tagline literally should be, like, whip ass and apologize later. Like, I don't know why we're like that. But until we learn how to manage our emotions, it really comes off as, I'm going to whip your ass. <laughs> Like, we don't really mean it like that, but just don't play with us. Like, that's just how we give it up. But, um, yeah, so I was asking, like, am I tripping or whatever? Then I kind of was like, y'all, I think I was just triggered all over the place. I think I was triggered that I once allowed myself to be treated like that. I think I was triggered because, wow, here we go again. I think I was triggered because, woo, I 
seen the red flags and let's let's just keep it a buck y'all know i'm honest we see red flags all the time right it is up to us if we choose to acknowledge them if we choose to evade them or if we choose to justify them that is something that we do as our own human individual basis like and so what i'm saying is before in my friendships i've seen the red flags i seen it's crazy i seen the red flags I didn't, I acknowledge them, but I, I did not acknowledge them to an extent of just not still walking through the door, which I know is crazy, right? Because like, how do you see them? But then you still like, but that's just, I don't know. That's just how we show up as humans, right? I kind of was like, all right, maybe it won't be too bad. I guess I'm saying, right? So I guess I justified them. I didn't try to evade them. I just justified them, right? And so seeing her red flags again was like, oh no, so I think I just got triggered from everywhere, triggered from before, triggered from it happening now, triggered from the fact that when I seen the red flags prior and my, when I was younger that I did not acknowledge them and take them for what they were. It was just a lot. Your girl was just in a traumatic chokehold that day. Like I started crying. It was just, it was just a lot. It was a lot. And so what I'm coming to say is y'all, when you peep those red flags, do yourself a favor and be proud of yourself. Because just like I can see now in hindsight that I've seen red flags before and I did not take them for what they were. Now, what happened in this time was I seen them shits and I was like, up, oh, gotta go, bye. Like, I was out. Like, I haven't talked to her since. I actually deleted her because I had started a little contact. Y'all was really trying to be nice. I had started her little uh, contact and I don't add nobody to my phone. I'm still texting people with no name, no number, no nothing. I just kind of know who they are based on the thread. So I'm not mad at that because that was me doing it, right? Doing too much, right? Um, but yeah, I like deleted her contact. Her number's still there. I did block Shorty, but then I unblocked her. I don't look to talk to her ever again. I doubt that I'll hear from her. It's been a while and I haven't heard from her. So I'm cool with that. When she does try to hit me up again, I'm over it already. So I probably won't engage. But be proud of yourself because had my past self not operated and handled the red flags in the way that they were, there could have been a potential that in this moment right now, I would have handled my red flags that same way instead of recognizing them for the red flags and just getting the fuck out the way. Like, wow, I need to stop cursing. Getting the out the way. I was going to say hell. That's too bad. Okay. Getting the hell out the way. Like, so be proud of yourself. Don't beat up on yourself for acknowledging the red flag. Because it means that you're paying attention. And if you choose to walk away without absorbing what comes with the red flag, it also means that you're valuing yourself more. Because now what you're saying is, wait, I see you. We see each other. You know what I mean? Like that Nene and, Ken and Candy, like we see each other. And so, because I can see you. I know that now, baby, I got the control. I got these two feet. I can pivot and switch directions and I'm going to walk this way and let you walk your way. And that's how we're going to operate. We're going to agree to disagree because I give out way too much energy to ever, ever, ever in my life deal with someone who would have such a, no words, no judge, who would not operate the way I operate. I'll put it like that because I don't know Shorty. I wasn't around her long enough to know her. So I don't know her. I also thought, should I tell her? Right. But then I'm also in another place in my life, y'all, where I am not telling grown people how to act. I'm just going to accept you as you are and move about you. So there was a part of me that was like, well, maybe I should. But then it was like, well, do you really think you're going to have an amazing friendship with her? Because if you're going to invest all of this, it means that you're really looking for something to come out of it. And I was like, yeah, no, I don't think so. So I was like, no, nope, I'm good. <laughs> like, I'm good. So. Y'all, acknowledge y'all red flags, take them for what they are, accept them and appreciate the fact that you have now become an, an aligned, you're so in alignment now with spirits, with positivity, with healing energy, with different habits and different ways of living that you can now recognize them and prevent yourself from going through the heartache, the headache and just the drama of it all. Because one thing about me, y'all, I like drama in my literature, <laughs> I like drama on my television I might like a little drama in my sound, okay? But I don't like drama in my life. Me and drama in the life is kind of like me and an opponent to Muhammad Ali. Bitch, I'm going to beat the shit out of you. Okay, there I go cursing again. I'm sorry. But yeah, y'all, I'm so grateful that I worked through it. I'm so grateful that I also took the time. I didn't rush myself. I didn't push myself. I was literally like, yo, 
this is what it is and it is what it is so all right y'all i think i said enough right i really do think i said enough i'm so grateful because i've been wanting to talk to y'all for that about that for like a while like it immediately when it happened i was like oh my god i gotta share with y'all because i know i'm not the only one and i know that it comes with a lot you know the red flags don't just come just with the flag and no emotion and none of that it comes with all of that because it's an emotional response you know when you see a red flag you have to make a decision and most of us make our decisions based on emotions anyway right a lot of us are not logical uh, we're logical once the emotions don't work once we can't manipulate in that type of way but facts first we're gonna do it emotionally all right so that's it y'all i'll see y'all later bye okay. look at the boys the brothers mister he was just yawning and everything Hey y'all, good boy, good big brother. And what you gonna help him use the bathroom? That'll be nice. On for his booty. Where is booty? Smoky. Oh good, they're doing great. Okay. Hey y'all, what's up? Happy Tuesday. I think today is September twelfth. Um, I got some new shoes, y'all. Y'all know. Y'all know. I got some new little booties, y'all, because why not? It's fall. It's about to be boot season. And so y'all know I had to come and show y'all what new shoes I got. Um, this is not a haul. We literally about to try them on and see what they look like. And then I might put a haul together in a little bit, but... Right now, let's just open up these new booties, y'all. Let's just open up these new booties. I'm excited. I'm excited. Because you know a girl love her shoes, honey. All right. So, here is the first pair, y'all. I think these are so cute. A little sweater boot with a very, like, how can I say this? Like, the heel is the show, right? And so, when I dress these, I would definitely be making sure that the heels is what come out first. So we about to try these on. I think I'm going to just show you guys all of them and then try them on. Because I don't feel like showing y'all getting up. Trying, I'm not doing all that. So here's the first pair. Um, Actually, don't even. You know what? Let me just be honest. I got these boots. My mom gave me these boots, y'all. So I don't even have the link for them. I'm gonna have to go and look them up. I'm saying it like that because I'm lazy. <laughs> but my mom gave me these boots because she is not wearing heels anymore. And they just so happen to be my size. And they're brand new. And so, girl, you know I'm going, I'm going to wear them. I'm going to slay them as I always do. All right, so this is the first pair, y'all. They're so cute. Little sweater boot with a little see-through glass heel. I think they're so cute. I think they would be super cute to wear with um, jeans in the fall, you know? So that's the first pair. Let's move on, y'all. I don't even know how I would style them. Like, I'm saying that now, but I kind of know as soon as I look in my closet, I would find something. So am I the only one when I keep i keep all my stuff exactly how it comes so if the bag if the shoe comes with this bag or anything like that like i keep it am i the only one that does that if it comes with plastic i put it back in the plastic like i don't know all right here is the second pair get into sheen you see the little little ruching yes these are suede guys and i just love that they made the um i don't even know if you guys can see that i'm sorry i love that they put they made the zipper gold because this is a cute all black super cute boot but with the the zipper at least the zipper part being gold i think it just gives it a little bit more so can't wait to try these bad boys on too y'all because they look super super cute I don't know why I'm kind of like, I got anxiety or something. I think I'm trying to rush. I think I need to calm down. So let's take a deep breath. <sighs> Y'all, because it's been a while since I've been talking to you guys. So I think the constant like 
start stop start stop like it always gives me anxiety or whatever but guess what you can't get to the you cannot get through your anxiety unless you do what you need to do to get past the anxiety so here is the second boot y'all these are so cute y'all wait okay <laughs> these are so cute like I think these could be paired with a dress or pants because sometimes when you buy your booties, you got to know what you're wearing them with. Sometimes some booties are only for pants. Sometimes booties are versatile. Sometimes booties are only for a dress. Like, it's up to you how you want to style your shoes. But I always, when I purchase my shoes, I'm always like, hmm, how many ways can I wear these shoes? Literally, that's what I say to myself. All right, so that is the second pair. And then we just got one more pair, y'all. One more pen. Then we're going to try them on and see what they're giving. Y'all. Y'all, 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 y'all. Now, these, y'all. I think these are probably my favorite out of the three that I got. Y'all, get into it. Let me come close. Just so y'all can get the detail. The details. Y'all, I already have a pair of these boots, but they don't have the details so let's get into the details let's get into them. all right boom can y'all see that y'all see how it's like kind of fake snake skinish type which i would probably never buy snake skin shoes but let me not talk too soon because i don't know what i would do period but y'all these are so cute hold on i gotta put the light down one second all right, y'all, my bad. So we're going to go through them because I had the light way too freaking high for y'all to see it. All right, so the first pair is like this little like sweater material. Can y'all see that? Yes, like it's giving sweater, real stretchy. I can already tell. But I also know that when I stick my foot in here, it's going to grab onto my foot, which I like too. I like comfortable shoes. Also, when y'all buy y'all shoes, do y'all think about the comfortability? Because I do. I don't like, shoes are going to hurt your feet regardless, okay? That's just a part of being a woman, right? Just like getting your wax. But there's a way that we could kind of minimize the pain. So, like, let me get shoes that don't hurt on a 25, but maybe hurt on a 15. You feel me? <laughs> because it's cute enough to just wear, walk from the car, walk into the establishment, walk from the establishment back to the car, take them joints off, period. Um, so these look like they're going to be comfortable. Okay, so this is the first pair. Just going through them real quick again because I realized that the light was way too high and I'm not sure if y'all could have seen them. So this is pair number one. And then pair number two is these little suede black ones. Super cute. I love this little like ruching or whatever you want to call that. It gives it like a little bit more style than it just being a regular black suede booty. Um, these actually don't look like they're going to be that comfortable. Mm -hmm, but they look like it doesn't matter if they're comfortable or not because they're going to style. I was telling you guys that I love, 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 love the um gold zipper. It's actually not the whole zipper. It's just the part that you... I don't know why I be describing things like y'all can't see it. Y'all looking right at it. Anyway, so that's pair number two. And now we're going to get into the ones that I ultimately feel are going to be my fave. Now, y'all know I already have some white boots like this. They just do not have... Y'all see that? They don't have that. So they're the same boot. They're not from Fashion Nova, though. They're from Rainbow. Literally the exact same. I'm actually... One second. Let me get them. All right, guys. These are the pair that I got from Rainbow. I think I got them last year. So I have worn them, as you can see, the creases. But you see, they're literally the same exact... The heel on the Fashion Nova ones are a little higher. But they're the same exact booty. And I love these. I throw these on real quick and I just need a really quick like, all right, let me get my white boot. Let me step out. I love to wear them with the flare jeans because I, when you wear like your booties, whether you're showing the whole boot or just it, just the tip, I was on this kick where I just wanted to have the flare out jeans and only like the boot, like this part out. <laughs> killer. That's a killer look. All right. So enough about these i just wanted to show y'all the difference <laughs> all right so love these they don't look like they're too comfortable either but it doesn't matter because i think they are so cute so regardless of if they're comfortable or not they going on my feet so here's that pair i don't really know what else i can tell y'all about them because i haven't really worn them 
So we're about to try them on right now, y'all. I'm so excited. Y'all, I'm a girl of girls' girls. Like, I just love all the cute shit that we get to do as girls. I mean, let me just talk about it real quick. It's taxing, you know? It's super taxing to be a female. But it's so cute to be a female at the same time. Like, we hit, we get a lot more selections than guys do. We get to play in makeup. We get to play dress up. We get to play all these things, play with purses, play with jewelries and accessories and things like that. And so it may be toxic. No, taxing, not toxic. <laughs> it may be taxing, but I just love it. Like, take all my money. You know what I mean? Take all my money. I want I want my hair to look like this. I want, I want my eyebrows to look like, girl... All right, so let's go ahead and try these on, y'all, because enough talking. I think I didn't talk y'all enough about them, but... <laughs> I'm so excited. All right, let's try them on, y'all. First pair we're going to try on is these little ones right here. Let's see what they give in. I don't know, y'all. They look like they're going to be all right, but at the same time, it's like... I don't know. Let's just... Let's not make any type of... Wait. Not there being... Is this hair? No, well, that's a part of my jeans, but I think the other part was here. Anyways, let's just put these on. I actually put these jeans on on purpose so that I can see what they look like with jeans. Girl, it's giving. Girl, I told y'all as soon as I stuck my foot in here, they was gonna. It's just stuck to my foot. Period. This string is bothering me. Give me a second. I don't even know why this is here. Okay. Okay, y'all. It is like. Hmm. I don't know, they, 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 y'all, oh my god, trying to get this foot, all right, boom, all right, so, this is what it's giving, this is what they giving, y'all, what y'all think, I feel like when we step in heels as women, we just, we just instantly turn into bow-legged, like, I don't even know why, but that's just how I stand anyway. But what they giving y'all, what y'all think? They look nice. Shoe cam. Yeah, they look all right, y'all. I think they cute. Like I said, they right now standing in them, y'all, not comfortable at all. Like, I feel like when I wear them, I'm going to be like, <laughs> look, that girl cannot wear heels. They don't feel that comfortable. But I think that they are doable. A little date night, you know what I'm saying? Just a little quick, quick. Not, nothing too much, but they all right. We want to see. When we get done, we want to see which one is the most comfortable. But here is pair number one, y'all. Tell me what y'all think. Y'all liking them or nah? We feeling them or we not feeling them? They giving or they not giving? They serving or they not serving? They swaying? <laughs> Oh, they not slaying. Like, what they doing? What like what we feeling? Talk to me. Or I am a fool. Talk to me. Like what? What is this? All right, let's try on the second pair, y'all. Top of that, y'all. I'm dead trying on these boots with socks. Like y'all know when we try on our stuff, we supposed to put on those little slip socking things. I ain't got none. Nor was I about to go in my closet and take out no tights or nothing so it's gonna be socks they're not that thick though i made sure they're not thick because you have to watch out how you have to watch out um what you have on your feet when you try on your shoes because say for instance it's winter time and you got on thick ass socks your shoes are not gonna fit the same way they will fit when you put on another pair of socks so these these little anklets i'm going y'all it's hot like <sighs> yeah it's hot okay so let's try on these mm -hmm. they look cute let's see what they given i don't think these are going to be comfortable just by looking at them but <sighs> who cares pleasure pain pleasure takes pain beauty is painful honey okay it's as painful as you can get and i'm always going to look for the beauty okay sis Hold on. What's it giving, y'all? Hold on. Y'all, I'm not even going to hold y'all. I'm not zipping up the back because it's not giving. I don't like 
Yo, I hate. Okay, so great. They put the zipper in the back, right? But your heel is back there. <laughs> so trying to zip it up always gives me like just a little, a little like, I don't know, a little fear because I don't want. Oh, period. <laughs> it gave me a little fear, y'all, because I wasn't trying to break that zipper. But it's given, y'all. This is cute. And on these on these jeans, let me step back so y'all can see. Look what it's given with the jean. I like it. I like it. But since it's your world, period, and I'm just a squirrel, them people don't want to talk to you. Y'all know I was just fighting with the zipper for a minute, and she's still not going up. So obviously, the right foot was like, all right, we're going to do you right. Excuse me. The right foot was like, all right, we're going to do you right. We're going to get her. The left foot was like, bitch, so you thought. Anywho, we're going to leave it because I can see how they feel. Okay, they actually don't feel that. Um, They kind of do feel kind of comfortable. I didn't think they would be that comfortable, but they feel good, y'all. And I'm loving the way they look. Let's just focus on the closed one. Don't focus on the open one. What y'all think? What is given? What's they given, honey? I'm going to work on a haul for y'all. I just don't know how I'm going to style them. All right, let's try on my favorite purr. Let's try on my favorite purr. Y'all, I love. Let's, let her get a moment. Mm -hmm. let, her get, let her get a moment. Period. She deserves her moment, y'all. Also with the zipping. Y'all know I wasn't zipping it all the way. Listen. It is what it is. But what y'all think? Y'all, I think they are so cute, y'all. I really am digging them. Like, these are ultimately, duh, my favorite. Duh. These are my favorite. Like, I can't wait to style these. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. These are super cute. Like, I'm seeing my picture like, mm-hmm. Cute, y'all. Cute, cute, cute. So cute thank you mom <sighs> y'all it is hot like honestly in just that little bit of seconds which i don't know where my english comes from now because i just say what i want <laughs> but just in those few seconds like sis it's given pig on a roast okay it's hot honey it's way too hot make sure you hydrate stay cool take your showers <laughs> But stay cool. Um, don't exert too much energy. Like, don't go outside when the sun is out if you don't have to. Like, preferably just wait. Not talking to y'all like y'all mama's just saying, you know. But anyway, y'all, those are the three pair that I got. Please let me know in the comments below what you think about them. Which one is your favorite? Which one's your least favorite? How you think I should style them? You know what I mean? All of that. Um, y'all already know that my favorite pair is the white pair, so I can't wait to put a haul together for those. Um, but yeah. I think that's it, y'all. I'm out because I'm hot. I will see y'all later. We talk a lot about how God is always opening doors, and I love that about God. But as I was studying for this message, I felt that there was something deeper than just God opening doors. There are moments when God opens portals. A door, when we think about it, even when we think about God opening doors, it may change something in our life, but when God opens doors, it doesn't always change our entire life. But when God opens a portal, it is an entrance into another dimension. Where that dimension takes you doesn't necessarily mean that it's promotion. Sometimes there are portals that allow you access to things that are on assignment to destroy you. You were exposed to that you should have never been exposed to but because you were connected to somebody who you didn't realize was a portal in disguise now you're dealing with their devils and their demons because you're in a dimension that you were never supposed to be in i don't know about you but i got careful over my circle when i started realizing i wasn't just fighting my depression i was fighting their depression and now i'm in this mess with you because i allowed you to be my portal it's on you too.
And that's why you do yourself a service when you make sure that you are aware enough about what's happening in your spirit so that you're not preaching, teaching, pouring, parenting, loving, sexing with people, not realizing that you are really giving them access to a version of you that you don't even like, but misery loves company. And now we're sitting in this dimension of torment together because I didn't realize When is the last time we took inventory of what is happening in our life and who was in our lives and asked ourselves, where are you taking me? Because your purpose only works in a certain dimension. Oh, Jesus, help me. Some of us fall for this belief that if I am anointed, I am anointed anywhere. Oh God, this one even in my notes. But your anointing is assigned to a dimension. I'll give you an example. There are some people, not people you know, not people in this room, who justify what they do by saying, well, Jesus sat with sinners and, and, drink, and drunks and everybody else. Yeah, but you have a drinking problem. And he was anointed to be in that dimension and you are not. You are not witnessing at the strip club, baby. You are not anointed for that dimension. And don't fool with the anointing and dilute it by making the anointing fit your lifestyle instead of changing your lifestyle to fit the anointing. God says, when you can't get out of the atmosphere, you can shift the atmosphere. When you begin to shift the atmosphere, God, I can't break the addiction on my own. Have you ever seen somebody drunk but calling on the name of God? You can discredit them if you want to, but they recognize I'm in a dimension I can't get out of. God, if I could put it down, I would. But since I can't put it down, I'm asking you to meet me right where I am in this dimension, right where I am in this brokenness, right where I am in this pain. God, I need something stronger than the dimension I got sucked in. Prayer is my transportation. <laughs> Thinking about Paul and Silas, locked up in a prison cell. In one dimension, I'm restricted. That we have found ourselves functioning in dimensions that take us backwards, that shrink our anointings, that dilute our power. We are not without help. Because the truth is, though we can try and protect it as much as we desire, we're all gonna find ourselves, whether we realize it in the moment or not, sucked into dimensions where we lose focus on our anointing. Sucked into dimensions where the only thing we see is the depression. Sucked into dimensions where the only thing we see are our failures, our shame, our insecurity, our abandonment issues, our inadequacies. And most of the time, if we trace our steps back, we see that that wasn't just one rejection. It was a rejection that unearthed all the other directions. And now I have spiraled into a dimension that I cannot get out of. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah. You can't always get yourself out of these dimensions. I love affirmations. We have our children say affirmations every morning, but there are some affirmations that don't help us get out of the dimensions. There are some moments where that dimension is so heavy and so dark that we cannot get out of it. And so as believers, 
If you are a believer and if you are not a believer, I highly encourage you to tap into this truth that is helping us. It is not that we don't spiral into dark dimensions. It's that we understand the power of prayer is not just the place where we go and ask God to bless me, bless me, bless me. Prayer is transportation. Prayer is a portal out of this dimension and into the dimension I'm supposed to be in. Sometimes I start praying because I recognize I'm not in position. And sometimes I'm already out of position when I start praying but God is so good that he tells me if you humble yourself and pray and seek my face and turn from your wicked ways I'll send an uber for you out of the place of destruction I'll send an uber oh Jesus I feel there's some oil on that that your prayer is sending up a GPS notification that says God here I am and I got sucked into some mess that I cannot get out of but help me Lord Lord I understand saying that I don't have to live this way. I didn't have to be stuck in this dimension, but I humble myself and I begin to pray that verse is in 2 Chronicles and it's very powerful. When you understand the dynamic of Israel and their relationship with God, you recognize that they kept finding themselves out of position over and over again. They would start dabbling with other I invited heaven's dimension into my dimension. And when Paul and Silas said, I may not be able to get out of this cell. I may not be able to get out of these cups, but I can let worship meet me in the place of restriction. Then all of a sudden the ground started shaking. You couldn't see it earlier, but every time you lifted your hands, I saw the ground started shaking. You didn't see it earlier, but every time you lifted your hands, I saw demons backing up off of you. You didn't know it yet because you've been carrying that weight for so long. But when you started worshiping, I saw chains being broken off of you. You didn't realize it, but you shook up the ground. When you walk out of here, you may have to walk a little differently. Because I hear God saying, I shook up the ground that you're walking on. I ordered your steps because when I shook up the ground, it's not the same way that you used to walk anymore. I... That's why the enemy wants to worship. Because your worship changes the dimensions. That's why the enemy wants your tongue. Because your mouth changes the dimension. The power of life and death is in the tongue. So you decided to not speak death. But I hear God saying, did you speak life? You shut up on one end. But did you open your mouth on the other end? Because if you open your mouth on the other end, what you learn is that same power that caused you to shrink is the same power that will help you release the gift of God that's down on the inside of you. some people in this room and they drag themselves in this room but they can't release their worship because they're in a dimension of so much pain that they can't even release it for themselves it took everything they had to come into this room they must have it suffering violence and the violence taken by force you better watch who you're sitting next to because I hear God saying the dimension is about to shift. The dimension is about to go higher. Yes, you online. Yes, you online. I hear God saying we can shift it from right here. We serve notice on hell. Hey guys, I'm just coming to end and close up the vlog. This vlog had a lot of moving parts and I'm so excited. I'm so happy to be back. So if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.